Hello, good evening. Well, let's begin. Okay, well, good evening, everyone. My name is uh, Jonathan Solis. I am your new teacher in uh, this, in this uh, level. So welcome, everybody. It's great to have you, okay? Uh, I'm your new teacher, so it's uh, it's a great pleasure to begin. So, uh, please introduce yourselves. Okay, nos vamos a presentar. Let's introduce yourselves. So, uh, please, who wants to be first? All you have to do, todo lo que tiene que hacer es, is uh, saying your name, how old you are, and uh, what you do. Okay, su nombre. ¿Cuántos años tiene? Y su ocupación. What you do, like, I am a teacher, I'm a lawyer, I'm an engineer, whatever you do. So let's begin. Uh, listen to my example. Listen to my example. Vamos a escuchar mi ejemplo. So, my name is Jonathan Solis. I am an English teacher and I'm 30 years old. I'm from San Salvador. Hey. I want to listen to you too. I want to hear you too. Who wants to be first? ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Who wants to introduce uh, themselves first? ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Okay, please. Hello. Hello. Hello, my name is Jacqueline, Jacqueline Orantes. Yes. I am 30, 70 years old. 37 years old, okay. Yes, I am a doctor. All right, interesting. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome, Jacqueline. Uh, let's hear somebody else, please. Thank you. Who's gonna, who's gonna, all right. Hey, somebody else, please don't be shy. Right, somebody else, somebody else, please let's introduce ourselves. Good Come evening. On. My Good name e is my name is Carla. I I'm forty four years old. I am a work in the sur. You work in the sur. Okay. Hey, you guys are really busy now, huh? Ahorita están bien ocupados, ¿verdad? You are very busy now, sí, right? En emergencia, en emergencia. In, in sí, emergency, sí. yes. In okay. emergency. Yeah, good luck, good luck. All right. It was nice. It was nice to hear you, Carla. Hey, anybody else? Anybody else who would like to introduce themselves? Alguien más que quisiera presentarse? Please. Anybody? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Please go ahead. My name is Silvia. Right. I am lawyers. Are uh, you a lawyer? I'm from San Salvador. Say again. I'm from San Salvador. Oh, you're from San Salvador. Okay, pretty good. All right. Hey, one more person, please. One more person. Uh, somebody else? Somebody else? Who would like to introduce themselves? Mm, okay, please do. Just... Say your name, how old you are, and uh, what you do. Okay, go ahead, mister. Uh, Mauricio, are you going to introduce yourself? My name is Mauricio Alarcón. Yes. Uh, I work uh, with a lawyer. All right, you're a lawyer. I, 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 li I live in, in San Salvador city. Great. Uh, All right. Namas. Namas. All right, that's good. That's good. You can say, oh, that's it. That's it. Cuando queremos decir nada más, that's, that's it. it. Um, that's it. That's Pretty good. It. All right. Hey, uh, just uh, one more person, okay? One more person because we have uh, to do other things. Alguien más que se quiera presentar? Just one more person. Anybody else? Good evening. Hello, good evening. And hello, 
My name is Romy Toledo. Uh, I am uh, 35 years old. I am from uh, San Salvador. Interesting. And at work, oh, yeah. at work, um, Hi. and in Hotel Sheraton President. Okay. All right. Great. Great. Nice. Nice job. Okay. If uh, anybody else wants to, si alguien más quiere, if somebody else wants to introduce themselves, yeah, you can do it now. También lo pueden hacer ahora. Anybody else? Just one last person. Anybody? Teacher? Yes, go ahead, please. Okay. Good night, everyone. Uh, my name is Larissa Martí. I am teacher of the University uh, Universidad Tecnológica del Salvador. I am work to, uh, I am travel agency. Um, I have a, a five, oh. a, a, uh, hi. I have um, uh, 50, uh, 50, uh, 15, fi no, 15, one, no, 15, 15? no, excuse me. <laughs> no. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry. So you are 51, you said, right? No, eh, no, no. Ah, yeah, 51 years old. 51. Oh, I thought, I thought it was backwards. Pensé que era al revés, 15. <laughs> no, no, no. All no, right, no, no. all right. No worry, Thank no worry. Thank you, teacher. All right, and very I'll welcome. It's great having name. you, Larissa. It's Thank great you. having you. So, hey, you guys. Uh, well, uh, if you have any questions, if you have any questions down the road, in the camino, you can, you can also text me in the, in the WhatsApp group. We also have a chat. También tenemos un, un chat aquí. Hello, Carlos. Charles. Yeah. Hello. Welcome. Uh, so, uh, so yes. Uh, we also have a, a chat here in uh, in, in in Zoom. So, si, hola, hola, escucha. Hello. Yes, Carlos. We can hear you. Welcome. So, um, podemos utilizar también el chat. See if you need me to like slow like, down or si digamos uh, tienen algún problema like you can't hear me. Oh, teacher, I can hear you. Oh, you want to introduce yourself too? Go ahead. It's your turn. Go ahead. Hello. Yes. Uh, my, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Carlos. I'm from San Salvador. Uh, I'm 29 years old. Uh, I work in the sociology. You work only that, only that. All right, great, great. All right, very good. Great to have you. Great to have you. So, uh, yeah, in today's Excuse lesson, me, teacher. yes, teacher, please Excuse go ahead. Me. What's, your, uh, what's your name? Excuse My me. name, all right, one more time. My name is Jonathan. I, I'll put it here, Jonathan Solis. Okay, thank you. All right, very welcome. So Yes, okay, just keep it in mind, okay? It's there in the chat. My name is in the chat too. So, uh, yes, in today's lesson, in La Lección de Ahora, we're going to learn about uh, transportation. We discuss transportation. Vamos a hablar de transporte, okay? We, we're gonna talk about transportation, all right? Great, so let's take a look at today's uh, information okay great so how about you guys uh yes uh charles raises and okay carlos uh charles do you have any other question eh, solo una pregunta eh, no había entendido muy bien cómo iba a hacer las evaluaciones y algunas cosas que aplicaron el primer día el día viernes Entonces, si no pudiera hacer un breve resumen. Fine, fine. Okay. Good, good. This is how the system works. Okay, es el, como, así es como funciona el sistema. Eh, usted eh, usted eh, califica o, o para, para su certificado si sí, termina todas las etapas de la plataforma. O sea que tiene que ver eh, los videos que están en la plataforma, tiene que Hacer los ejercicios, sobre todo, eh, tiene que enfo enfocarse en los knowledge checks. Hay una cosa que se llama knowledge 
uh, checks. Knowledge check. Hay también unos que se llaman test. Tiene que completar los tests que, que se llaman como midterm test. Entonces, eh, es necesario que, los, que complete esos para que, eh, para que pase el módulo. Y eh, cada clase va, va, va está alineada o está triangulada con los objetivos y eh, va orientada a manera de que ustedes puedan completar esos knowledge checks que son como unos pequeños quizzes o, o digamos cuestionarios de unas 10 preguntas más o menos sobre los temas que hemos visto. Uh, I think Marvin has another question. Does that answer your question, Charlie? ¿Le respondí su pregunta? Sí, muchas gracias. Ok, all right, thank, thank you. That's good. Marvin, please, go ahead. Marvin? No, 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 nada, siga, siga. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. So, yeah, that's how you, that's how you are evaluated. Así es, así es el sistema de evaluación. O sea, nos, eh, todos en base a los knowledge checks. Eh, ¿Cuántos de ustedes han descargado la aplicación de inglés corporativo en sus teléfonos? ¿Cuántos lo han descargado? No hemos podido alguno. Oh, really, you haven't? Lo descargué. Ok, you, you did. All right. Eh, creo que... I think you received an email from us. Recibieron un, un, un correo de parte de Inglés Corporativo. And, uh, and there is a link to it. Hay un link para descargar la, para descargar la aplicación. Si no, eh, creo que se los voy a pasar. Eh, les voy a pasar el link yo en el chat de WhatsApp. So, so you can download it too. Para que ustedes tengan un acceso más práctico. Y no tengan que sentarse en la computadora cada vez. Yes, please. O sea que, eh, pregunto, o sea, ¿hay que descargarlo tanto en la computadora como en el celular? Eh, ¿O solo puede ser en la computadora? Pregunto. No necesariamente. It can be either way. Puede ser en ambos lados. Porque eh, okay. si usted, digamos, eh, lo descarga, lo tiene, tiene en su computadora, accesa a través de Google, y, y, uh -huh. through, your, through your search engine, si a, a, accesa a través de Google, usted está logueada con su cuenta de inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, y sí, usted sí. puede también tener esa misma cuenta en su teléfono y el progreso de igual manera se va, se va a guardar. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So, it's thank either you. way. Yeah, welcome. Okay, thank you. Very good. Uh, any other questions? No more questions? Well, I guess uh, we can move on. Yeah, let's move on. Eh, solo otra pregunta, disculpe. Yes, yes, go ahead. No problem, Carlos. Eh, son, las clases son de 9 a, a, a qué hora y los días de semana para ir a clases. Uh, it's it's uh, from 9 to 10, uh, Monday through Friday. Okay. Yeah, Monday through Friday. It, probably in the past it was different, but now it's the 9 a 10, Monday to Friday, right? 9 to 10, Monday to Friday. Yes, so it's important that you, you're here in every class. Yes, guys. Entonces, así es como funciona. All right. Any other questions? Any other questions? Well, I guess we can move on. All right, good. Entonces, uh, si no hay más preguntas, vamos a continuar, okay? Great. Uh, so, here we go. We're going to learn about uh, vocabulary. Okay, vamos a aprender vocabulario o oh, palabras nuevas about transportation. All right, vamos a aprender palabras nuevas acerca de transportation. So, um, you guys look at the screen. Voy a compartirles la pantalla. Me avisan cuando la puedan ver. Okay. So, how many of you, how many of you, cuántos de ustedes, uh, go to work by car. ¿Cuántos de ustedes van al trabajo en carro? Go to work by car. How many of you? Raise your hand, please. All right. Great. Great. Very good. Hey, how many of you ride a motorcycle? How many of you ride a motorcycle? How many of you ride a motorcycle? All right, Charlie, you, you, you ride a motorcycle? Interesting. Anybody else? Anybody else who rides a motorcycle? 
Mm. Yo. I ride a motorcycle. Uh, all right, you too, uh, Pablo. All right, great. Interesting. Hey, anybody else? In, and how about uh, who? Let me see. Who rides a bike? Who rides a bike? King and the in bicicleta. Who rides a bike? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. All right. Good. Good. In fact, I think it's a. It's a. All right, everyone, everything, take the bus. All right. And how about uh, who takes the bus in here? Quien es toman el bus? Who takes the bus? Oh, who takes the bus? Let's see. I guess. Uh, I am take the bus. You, you yeah, take, take the bus? bus? You take the bus too? Great, great. Yeah, I and uh, now it's very difficult, probably. Yeah. All right, great, pretty good. So, uh, let's take a look at this. Look, here oh. we have uh, oh, oh, oh sorry, got it. So, look, here, here we have uh, different means of transportation. Here we have different means of transportation, and uh, let's practice them. So, first, you drive a car okay el primero es drive a car okay thank you mauricio thanks for your answer drive a car pueden ver la pantalla can you see it yes yes yes, yes. okay yes. so you, yes. all right so you drive a car or that good or you walk okay you can say i walk to work hey how many of you walk That's how many of you oh jesus give me a second how many of you walk to work is, oh you ride a bike in the park great thank you charles mm -hmm. how many of you walk to work my mother walks to work yes yeah What's the matter? Oh, all right. It's in options. Okay, it's in options. Let me show you here. So, donde dice more, ahí tiene que haber una, una herramienta para levantar la mano. There's a button here, donde dice more. Ahí, ahí está. Charlie, where did you find it? Carlos? Charlie, are you there? Charles, are you there? Yes. No, it's okay. Uh, where Where is the the hand? Where is the hand button? Donde está el botón de la mano? Where did you find it? Yeah. Good. Good. You see in there. Donde lo encontró, Charlie? Porque ustedes tienen una vista un poco diferente a la mía porque yo soy como I'm an, an instructor, so soy como instructor. Where do you find it, Charlie? Please tell your classmates. Charlie? Charles? Charles, where, uh, where, ¿dónde encontró la, la herramienta de la mano para que le diga a sus compañeros? Charlie? Okay, it's in options. That's it. It's in options. Don't worry. Okay, uh, we'll continue here. All right? Okay, está en más. Exacto. Está en más. En more. Y ahí dice, si tiene los settings en inglés, o sea, si tiene sus ajustes en inglés, dice raise hand. O levantar la mano. Okay. You can't listen. It's weird. Todos los demás me pueden escuchar, ¿verdad? Yes. 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 Clear? Yes. Clear? Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Great. Yes, I hear you. All right. Fine. So let's continue practicing uh, means of transport here. All right. So here we have, uh, we take the bus. Oh, look. Some people take the subway. Some people take the subway. That's uh, 
that's a, a different, like a train, but underground, o sea, bajo la tierra. It's an un underground train, all right, the subway. Oh, some people take the train. Hey, we don't have a train in El Salvador, do we? Do we have a train service here in El Salvador? No, right? We don't have a train here in El Salvador. Okay. No, it isn't. Say again? No, it isn't. No, no, we don't, right? We don't. Ah, no, we don't. Ah, yeah, we it's don't. okay, it's okay, it's okay. I, uh, yeah, we don't my have brother, a train. Say again, please, uh, Larissa. My, okay, my brother uh, lives in Roma, in Rome. In Rome, yes, it's a, a, a when a, he go to work, he, he take a train. He takes a train to work. A train, yes. Yeah, oh, so he goes to work by train, or he? A train, yes. Yeah, he, he, he takes, takes the train to work. The train to work. Yeah, yes. great, pretty good. All right, look, people uh, also ride a motorcycle. You can ride a bike or ride a motorcycle. Ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, ride, ride, okay? Ride a motorcycle. And also look at number eight, take a taxi, take a taxi or take a cab, take a taxi or take a cab, okay? Uh, al taxi in, in in uh, American English, también se dice cab. In, in, in English, Americano, también se dice cab al taxi. Okay, taxi or cab. Cab, C-A-B. Okay. Oh, it, there is no difference. No difference. People just call it. This is a, uh, Charlie's question. Charlie has a good question. Hey, what's the difference between cab or taxi? Cab and taxi is the same, okay? So it, it's the same thing. Es, el, es lo mismo, pero la gente les llama de manera diferente. Just because, man. No, no, I, uh, they, they just call it different, but it's the same thing, okay? And you take a cab. Hey, you guys, uh, look at this. Aquí tenemos una pregunta. How do you get to work. Vamos a practicarla. Okay. How do you get to work? Please repeat. How do you get to work? How do you get how to work? How do you get to work? How do you, how do you get to work? Yeah. How? How? How, 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 how do, do you get? get how, how do you get do to you, work? How, how do you get to work? Okay, great. How, how do you get to the work? All right. How do you get to work? How do you get to work? How so, do you get to work? Yes, pretty good. So, uh, and you can answer like this. You can answer like this. I drive to work. 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 Oh. I ride the bike. Uh, yeah, I ride a bike, I ride a motorcycle, right? Or uh, I take a cab, I take a I cab. Ta I, I take a bus. Oh, yeah, I take the bus, the bus, okay, the bus. All right, so now what we are doing, lo que vamos a hacer es esto. Oh, please, let me just uh, mute your microphones, just a second. Okay. Um, so we, uh, we're going to do this. Vamos a hacer esto. Vamos a, uh, we're going to work in small groups. Vamos a practicar, uh, vamos a trabajar en grupos pequeños. And uh, you ask questions. Van, van a hacer la pregunta, how do you get to work? Hey, look, uh, Mauricio has a question and it's interesting. What is the difference between train and the subway? Well, that's, uh, that, that's easy, Mauricio. The train is underground. Look, look at the screen. The train is underground. O sea, el, el tren es bajo, bajo tierra. Uh, I'm sorry, it's backwards. The subway is underground. 
the subway is underground. O sea, el tren está bajo tierra. Okay, el subway, o sea, subterráneo. Subway. The subway is underground. The subway is underground. Y train isn't. Y el tren no. Okay? So that's the difference. The train, uh, the subway, the subway is underground. The subway is underground. That's the difference. O sea, el subway está bajo la tierra. Y el, uh, the train is not. Okay? So that's the difference, Mauricio. All right, you guys. Uh, yeah, now let's, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's make, all right, very welcome. Let's work in small groups. Yes. So let me see how many. Here we got 20 people here. So we're going to work in uh, small groups. Please ask the question, how do you get to work? Y vamos a responder con, uh, con, alguno, con los medios de transporte que aprendimos ahora. I drive to work. I take the bus. I ride a bike. I walk to work. All right. Good. So, here we go. Los voy a dividir y van a recibir una invitación. Entonces, tienen que aceptar esa invitación que les voy a mandar. Charlie, do you have any other question? Somos... <laughs> no, you're not, Charlie. <laughs> you're not. We're going to divide. We're going to divide the group. You're not a difficult group, Charlie. Don't say that. Okay. You, you are excellent people. Okay. Great. So, here we go. Cuando reciban la invitación, la aceptan. And uh, I will stop by. Voy a pasar por sus grupos también. Just to listen. Okay, solo para escucharlos. Okay, but don't panic. All right, here we go. All right, great, you guys. So, well, you got my message. So, uh, please go ahead and answer your, uh, discuss the question. Okay. How do you get to work? Okay. Estaba, ahorita estaba eh, Ricardo haciendo la pregunta y Silvia le estaba contestando. Just go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Silvia, how do you get to work? I drive to work. Very good. All right. Good. Now, Sylvia, you ask uh, somebody else. Uh, how did you get to work? Okay. Another. Okay. Uh, you can ask another person, too. I ride a motorcycle. All right. Good. Good. Pretty good. I take the car to the work. 
All right, guys, I'll uh, join another group. All right, you can continue. Is it at home? I don't know, sir. How yeah, uh, do you get to house? City? How do you get home? How do you get oh, how? Home? home is como familia, oh, si no oh, me equivoco, that. cuando vivís oh, con that. ellos. Uh, no, no, uh -huh. no, 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 listen, listen, yeah, yes, it, it's in a way, yeah. But uh, in English, we don't say uh, the house. When, like when you refer to your home, uh, la colocación, la expresión correcta es home, okay? How do you get home? Where are you now? I am at home, okay? So you use the word home. In español, usamos la casa, but in English, you say home. How do you get home? Y okay. también, home significa hogar, o sea, el concepto de, de su familia, ¿verdad? En sus diferentes formas, ¿ok? ¿Es clear? Yes, teacher, thank you. Yes, all right. Clear, yeah. teacher. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, you, you keep talking. I'll take another, uh, I'm going to check on another room, ¿ok? Voy a revisar el otro grupo. All right, you keep okay. talking. Thank you. All right, Thank very you. welcome. Uh, Char and I take that. Cup. Hey, Mauricio, how do you get to work? Um, I take the train to work. I take the subway to work. I take a taxi to work. To work. That's it. Ahora pregúntale a, a Rodrigo. Rodrigo, how do you get to work? Uh, I take the subway to work. I take the train and I ride a bike to work. All of them? No, listen, you just say one. Okay, solo va a decir uno. Like the real one, el que, el que usted toma de verdad, okay? Just uh, okay. a true answer, true answer about yourself. Solo una, una, una respuesta real, okay? So you, Rod Rodrigo, so you? Uh, I take the bus to work. You, you take the bus, okay, that's good, that's good. Hey, uh, how about you? Uh, yeah, you just continue talking. Now, Rodrigo, you ask uh, somebody else, I guess. Or have okay. you finished? Okay. Um, how do you get to work, uh, Mauricio? I take right. the car to work. I drive to work. I drive, I drive to work. To work. All right. Good, good. I'll mm -hmm. go back to another group. All right. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I'm back. So, yeah, you can continue. I have a question. Yes, Carlos, what's your question? Y los compañeros estábamos discutiendo cómo se decía algunas cosas como moto, motos, taxi y algunas. And, uh, and uh, what other things? Y qué otra cosa? What else? What else? También crucero. A cruise, but you don't take that to work. <laughs> okay, yeah, pero si, mototaxi, I, let me search because uh, I really don't know in English. I assume is is the same. Asumo que es lo mismo. But let me search here real, real quick. I think it's the same moto taxi, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, some people call it uh, some people call it motorcycle taxi. Yeah, it's the same. 
it's the same. Motorcycle taxi, it's, okay. it's the same word. Es la misma. Y el crucero, lo que habían preguntado, o sea, so it's just curiosity, and it's okay. La curiosidad no tiene nada de malo. Okay, uh, you say cruise. Okay. Cruise. Okay, cruise. cruise. Pero se ve como con Z al final. Cruise. 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 Yeah, that's it. That's it, you guys. Hey, pretty good. Uh, are you done? ¿Ya terminaron con la, con la conversación? ¿Ya, ¿Ya participaron todos en el grupo? Yeah. You, you guys participated? All right, cool. So I guess uh, we'll get back. Vamos a regresar a la, a la sesión, okay? A la sesión principal. So, yeah, that's it. All right, thank very you. welcome. All right, thank you for your questions and your participation. All right. Yeah. So, all right. All right, good. Is everybody back? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, how are hello, you? Teacher. I have a question. Yes, go ahead, please. Who is it? Uh, oh, Sylvia, please uh, go ahead. Uh, se dice, I drive the car or I drive car? Uh, I drive. So they say, I drive. Cuando uno dice I drive, uh, ya se sobreentiende que es un carro. Ok, That's no es it. correcto agregarle the car. No, not necessarily. No, not necessarily. Okay. No es necesario. Uh -huh. Por lo general, cuando okay. digamos hablamos de, hablamos de, ¿cómo se llama? Hablamos de su, de, del trabajo, decimos I drive to work. I, or I, I drive home. Ok. Quieren preguntar, quieren hacer esta misma pregunta como en general, o sea, like, like, for example, not necessarily about work, no solamente sobre el trabajo, sino que sobre cómo anda, oh, like, uh, if you drive or, or take a car or take a cab or whatever, you can ask, how do you get around? Slower, <laughs> más lento, how do you get around? How do you get around? La pregunta también es en el chat. How do you get around? O sea, eso significa cómo se transporta o cómo te mueves, algo, algo así. How do you get around? How, do, how can you improve your English in pronunciation? Uh, Charlie, that's uh, one, number one, practice. Okay, and, uh, and uh, Bovo, la segunda el segundo tip que le puedo dar es que miren, eh, miren videos en, en inglés, sobre todo de, eh, pueden ver series, series with subtitles is okay, con subtítulos, eso les ayuda mucho también. Okay. Personally, that, that helped me a lot. Eso me ayudó mucho a mí, en mi experiencia. Ver muchas series y TV y noticias en inglés, aunque no entendiera todo, pero el, el oído se va acostumbrando. Yeah. You have seen Sabrina in Netflix. That's good. It's an, yeah, continue, continue. That helps a lot. Thank you, Charlie. Thanks for your, your, your contributions and your participation. All right, you guys. Uh, so yeah, now we are going to uh, practice making uh, sentences, okay? El siguiente objetivo es hacer oraciones, okay? Así como las que ustedes hicieron. Para ponerles un ejemplo de una oración simple, eh, en el presente simple, decimos, I, for example, I drive to work. Ok, I drive to work. Aquí utilizamos una estructura simple de, 
uh, sujeto más uh, verbo, verb, más complemento, to work. Subject, verb, complement. Simple structure, ¿ok? Así es como as formamos una oración en el presente simple, ¿ok? We say, uh, we say, I drive to work. O, ahora quiero que ustedes me den más ejemplos. You can put them in the chat or you can also say it, please. More examples, like, I drive to work. Uh, I take a cab. Or, I listen to music. Okay, so please, uh, if you have any other, any more examples, please share. Alguien más que quiera dar un ejemplo? I watch TV, I says a guy. Park. And uh, Rosia says, I go to school. I go to the beach, uh, says uh, Charles. Great, those are good examples. Those are very good examples. Right, anybody else? Uh, anybody else who has another Example, I take the furry, says uh, Manuel. Yes, yes, pretty good. Very good examples, you guys. So, si ven en todo, if you see all these examples, si vemos todos estos ejemplos, tenemos la estructura de I, más verbo, walk, to work. All right? O, por ejemplo, podemos decir, oh, you, uh, you go to work. You do this. Entonces podemos utilizar también esa, esa estructura cuando, cuando hablamos de I, you, I. I get up every morning at 6.30, says Larisa. Good. I run in the morning. Pretty good. Ok. Eh, podemos utilizar esta, hora, esta estructura simple con I, I, you, we, o sea, tú y yo, we, nosotros, we, and they, ok, they, ok, I, you, we, they, we use this structure like, uh, I go to the park, oh, we have dinner together, ok, we have Teacher. dinner together, yes, Pablo? Eh, eh, pero ahí cambiaría la, la forma de la pregunta, ahí, ahí está dando esa indicación para responder, ¿verdad? El sí, I, es, el you, uh -huh. para preguntar, uh, para preguntar but, porque how do you get to work es para primera persona. Ajá. Uh -huh. How do you, no, para segunda, perdón. How do uh, you. Sí, ok, ya. Yeah. Eso es lo que, lo que estamos discutiendo. Ahorita, como estamos en, en, en este nivel, vamos a ir un poquito más lento y por ahorita nos vamos a enfocar solamente en, eh, en las oraciones, en the sentences, en oraciones afirmativas. Okay. Vamos a, a enfocarnos solamente en oraciones afirmativas, pero para pregunta es como usted dijo, how do you get to work? Okay. Charlie tiene una pregunta, do you work tonight? También, esa es una buena. Entonces, eh, para pregunta, utilizamos, hacemos una pequeña inversión, pero eso va, es parte de la siguiente lección. Solo para que tenga un ejemplo, look at the chat. En el chat, Charlie, uh, Charles puso, do you work tonight? Agregamos el auxiliar do, más sujeto, más un verbo, y si es necesario, un complemento. Do you work tonight? Ese es un, un muy buen ejemplo de una pregunta en el simple present. Así es la estructura, como la que está en el chat, la que puso Charlie. Do you work tonight? Uh, does that answer your question? Uh, está, eh, ¿Estamos bien? ¿Le respondí su pregunta? Yes, we're all good. Teacher. Yes. Eh, pero no sé, no, no, no lo logré entender bien. Uh -huh. Pero digamos, cuando decimos how do you get to work, es como que me estén preguntando a mí o yo le estoy preguntando directamente a otra persona. Uh, uh, you, you ask another person. Por ejemplo, tenemos una conversación, ¿verdad? Me lo encuentro usted, uh, I, me lo encuentro usted en el... En, el, en, en la calle, ¿verdad? Y le pregunto, how do you get to work? O sea, es you, ¿verdad? De... Sí. Y si, y si estuviéramos hablando de otra persona. Oh, muy bien, muy bien. Ahí también, ese, ese es de las, es más, va en las siguientes lecciones, pero decimos, ah, okay. 
How does she? How, se lo voy a poner solo para que tenga, tenga, tenga un ejemplo, pero más adelante vamos a cubrir eh, las terceras personas. Okay, okay. ¿Cuántas preguntas? Ahora vamos a hablar de, de, de oraciones, oraciones afirmativas, pero se lo voy a poner de todos modos para que tenga un ejemplo. How does she get to work? Get to work. Okay. Aquí cambiamos el auxiliar y no utilizamos do. Eh, utilizamos oh, does. does. Ajá. Cambia esa forma. Pero para verlo a profundidad o, o digamos para verlo con más ejemplos, con más tiempo, es en otra lección. Ahora nos vamos a, nos vamos a enfocar en oraciones afirmativas y negativas. Ok. okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. But, but I'm glad you guys are, are practicing too. All right. Uh, I'm going to display something on the screen. Le voy a poner algo en la pantalla. Espero que lo puedan ver y que lo puedan escuchar. I hope so. Or I better not. Quizás lo voy a, solo lo voy a mostrar porque no voy a hacer que, que se nos, que mi computadora de problema. Let's do it this way better. Mm, doesn't help. Okay. Uh, como les decía, uh, just like I, I was saying, we use, uh, we use, formamos una oración con sujeto, verbo y el predicado. Pero cuando hablamos de, about a third person, when we talk about a third person, cuando hablamos de una tercera persona, a third person, uh, le agregamos una S al verbo. Por ejemplo, uh, decimos Lucy, look at this, Lucy drives drives to work or Henry takes the bus ven los ejemplos en el chat can you, can you see the examples si se fijan no decimos drive o take decimos drives or takes entonces le agregamos una S al verbo cuando hablamos de una tercera persona. Pueden, si alguien me quisiera dar algún ejemplo, por ej eh, algún ejemplo de algún compañero, de algún amigo o de algún uh, familiar. For example, my sister, my sister uh, rides a bike. I mean, my sister rides a motorcycle. She, uh, a ride, she rides a scooter. Say again. A todos se eh. le agrega una S. Sí, a todos los verbos se les agrega una S o ES. Depende de, de, la, de la terminación. Eso, ah, okay. lo de las terminaciones, lo vamos a ver mañana porque tenemos 10 minutos más. So, yeah, so that, that's, uh, that's why. So, look, here we have more examples from Romy. Romy says, he works near here. Yeah, Susan dances very well. Great, those are good examples, okay? Those are good examples. Uh, all right, anybody else who wants to participate? Remember that... Uh, The class is, uh, is a conversation. Mm -hmm. It's conversation focused. So yeah, Carla, please go ahead. Okay, Daniela plays to the volleyball. Daniela plays volley uh, volleyball. That's a great volleyball. example too. Yeah, volleyball. Yeah, that's a great example, Carla. Anybody else? My mom, mom, my mom takes the bus to work. All right, good. That's a great example too. All right. Entonces, recuerden a terceras personas. Le agregamos ES, ¿ok? ¿Cuándo, ¿Quiénes son terceras personas? He, she, and it. ¿Ok? She drinks coffee, ¿ok? O por ejemplo decimos, oh, it, uh, it is, or it, it, it runs very fast. It runs very fast. It runs very fast. Por ejemplo, si hablamos de un carro, ¿verdad? It runs very fast. O sea, corre súper rápido. It runs very fast. Si nos referimos a un carro. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? O podemos, si nos referimos a una cosa, podemos decir, It looks, it looks good. Se mira muy bien, right? It looks good. ¿Ok? Teaches. Like, like for the verb teach, yeah? We can use that. We can add the ES, absolutely. Great. So those are good examples. All right. Eh, también, 
tenemos eh, oraciones, uh, yeah, good, those are good examples, Charlie. También tenemos oraciones negativas. A las oraciones negativas vamos a comenzar con uh, I, you, we, and they. Para las personas I, you, we, we, and they. Agregamos don't or do not. Okay. Uh, so, for example, for example, I say, I don't ride a bike because I can't. I don't ride a bike. Okay. So, I don't ride a bike. I don't ride a bike. Esa es una oración negativa. Ok. Entonces, para hacer una oración negativa, agregamos, uh, we add the particle or the, the, the auxiliary, don't. Agregamos el auxiliar, don't. Entonces, decimos, I don't ride a bike. All right? Uh, y eso es cuando hablamos de you, we, and they. For example, in El Salvador, we don't take... Okay, he doesn't like the picture. Yeah, good. That's great. We don't take the train in El Salvador, do we? No, we don't in El Salvador because the train doesn't work, right? We, we, you know, I, you, I, you and I, we don't take the train because there isn't a train in El Salvador. Entonces, nosotros no tomamos el tren. I don't drive to work, says Pablo. That's a great example, Pablo. All right. Eso es cuando hablamos de I, you, we, and they. All right. Y para poner ejemplos de, digamos, de, de terceras personas, usamos para he, she, and it. Eh, para, pero digamos para contestar negativo, por ejemplo, la respuesta tendría, la, la pregunta, perdón, tendría que cambiar, podría ser, do you drive to work? Uh, but, ajá, exacto, le hacen una pregunta como, así como de, eh, do you drive to work? Uh, you say, no, I take the bus. Eh, la, estamos viendo solo oraciones negativas, independientes de su pregunta, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, le, por, ejemplo, le, por ejemplo, le dicen, uh, le dicen, uh, le dicen, uh, le dicen usted, I saw you this morning, uh, do you, I saw you this morning, I saw you this morning in a, in a, in a car. Y dice, ah, oh, I don't drive a car. You're confused. O sea, se confundió. Yo no manejo. I don't drive a car, por ejemplo. O sea, como, son solamente oraciones. Son como un poco independientes de la pregunta, ¿ok? Uh, no, son solamente, no están como asociadas es una pregunta, sino que solo estamos viendo oraciones afirmativas y negativas después vamos a ver las preguntas ok, okay, okay. alright, good, good but it's ok, curiosity again, curiosity is not bad la curiosidad no tiene nada de malo it's good that you're asking questions uh, so, where were we, yeah, he, she and it he, she and it, para he, she and it, lo que utilizamos es cuando hacemos oraciones negativas, we say, we say this, doesn't. Por ejemplo, uh, my mother doesn't, doesn't drive. Mm -hmm. All right. Example, uh, Romy, uh, Romy has an example. He doesn't work downtown. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Ven como hizo la oración. Uh, sujeto, subject doesn't work downtown. O sea, downtown es un complemento. Do you understand? Does everybody understand downtown? Does everybody understand downtown? Gabby says yes. How about the others? Do you understand downtown? Oh yeah, that's it. That's what it is. Thanks. Uh, thanks for the uh, for the contribution, Charlie. Yes, it's uh, the city center, the center of the ciudad. Great, great, very good. Great, so that's it, that's it. 
Uh, do you guys have any questions about what we saw today? Tienen alguna pregunta sobre los sobre lo, lo que estuvimos viendo ahora? No. Uh, all clear. Let's see. Let's see. Anybody? Questions? Questions? No. So far, so good. Thanks. So far, so good. Great. Thanks, Gabby. Thanks. So, all right. Great. Yeah, in that case, it will be downtown, El Centro Histórico. Sería, that will be our downtown, downtown San Salvador. Great. So, you guys, uh, well, let's see. For, uh, for this, uh, for more practice. I have a question. Yes, yes, go ahead. Who, all right, uh, um, go ahead, please. Eh, con la terminación de los verbos, eh, si uno terminara en S. Uh, ok, si digamos un verbo eh, termina, vamos a ponerlo así. Vale, hay verbos que terminan en una E. Por ejemplo, drive. A este solo se le agrega la S. Ok, y decimos drives. Ok, ahora tomemos un ejemplo el ejemplo de otro verbo eh, walk. Por ejemplo, walk. Again? Walk. walk ok, good, walk, walk. Eh, a walk no le suena la L y suena como una O esa letra A suena como una O entonces dicen walk ok, walk, walk. ok uh, be, bye. entonces a walk solo se le agrega, uh, walk solo se le agrega la S ok, sim es, es la misma historia, ahora hay algunos verbos que se les agrega ES. Son los verbos que terminan en las siguientes, en las siguientes, eh, en las siguientes eh, combinación de letras, por decirle algo. Los que terminan en la en CH, SH, X, X, and, uh, wait a second. X, and, uh, S, and, uh, Z, make, uh, made es el pasado del verbo make, ok, a esos verbos que terminan en ch, sh, x, z, o z, o, o z, se les agrega s, les doy un ejemplo, por ejemplo, watch, we say watches, ok, por ejemplo, my sister watches tv, ok, Ah, thanks, Carlos. Thanks, Charlie. So, uh, that's it. Así se, le, se forman los, los verbos, eh, los verbos que terminan en CH, se les agrega ES. Es solamente en esos casos. Ok. All right. Oh, yeah, that's a great example of Rosario. Kiss, the verb to kiss. Kiss. For example, uh, My sister, uh, my sister kisses uh, her daughter. Yeah, my sister kisses her daughter. That's a great example. Yeah, good, good. All right. Well, you guys, it's it's almost time. Uh, just uh, one thing, one more thing. Recuerden que cada en al final de cada lección, como les mencionaba, look looks. Yes. Como les mencionaba, al final de cada lección, eh, para repasar ustedes, digamos, en algún tiempito libre que tengan, pueden completar eh, estas pequeñas evaluaciones que se llaman Knowledge Checks. Los Knowledge Checks son como, son como pequeños quizzes o cuestionarios. En este caso, completen el 1.4 y eh, revisen todas las, las pequeñas lecciones, los videos cortos que están antes del, del Knowledge Check 1.4 para que vayamos al día, ¿ok? Solo para que repasen lo que vimos ahora, pueden ver esos videos o también no ha podido utilizar la plataforma. Ok, Charlie, eh, vamos, voy a hacer esto. Le voy a mandar el, voy a poner el link de, de la de descarga en el grupo de WhatsApp para que lo puedan tener en su teléfono también, ¿ok? So... All right, very welcome. So you guys, uh, again, I thank you for your time. Le agradezco mucho por su tiempo. And uh, please uh, do your homework, okay? Si tienen una tarea, es esto, el Knowledge Check 1.4. Lo pueden revisar en la plataforma a través de Google o 
en su teléfono. All right. So I thank everybody for your time and hope you have a good night. Okay. Good night. All right. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Sleep tight. All right. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Good night. Goodbye.